Hey, how's it going everybody? It's me, Scott Dog. Thank you very much for joining us. We're back. It's race day. It's Singapore. I don't know whether they give it to rain or not. Let's have a little look. We look like we're going to be okay. Um, so we are starting near the bottom of the grid, if not on the bottom of the grid. I can't really remember. Um, we are in... What are we in? At 19th and 20th. And that's mainly because A, we're rubbish, but B, because we had some uh, some penalties to our starting positions. Um, we could go softs then hards for Vettel. Let's do that. I feel like, I mean, we are changing these tyres real quickly in this scenario, though. Why is that? I don't understand. If we went a little longer, if we go a little longer, we'd shave some more time off. So why, why is this a thing? Okay, well, look, this. Okay, I mean, I, I guess we go back to the original one which is this one. But then I think we can tweak this to take us just a little bit longer into the race, right? Something like that. We'll give ourselves a little bit of protection here, but... I don't understand why. I, I still don't really understand this number, but... Okay, let's do something like this, right? 20 laps on these soft tyres might be pushing it a little bit, I would argue, but... Okay, this is this is us. Okay, that's your, that's your strategy. You're on softs, then hards for the whole race. Congratulations. Stroll. What do we do about Stroll? If we were to go with a new strategy and we were to give you... Give you these. I mean, it's not... It's not any quicker, right, according to this. Oops. In fact, it's probably one of the slowest strategies, but... If we were to get rid of you and put you down, we can almost make it to the end of the race, right? This is obviously with two, two stops, so... genuinely don't understand why we expect these to be i need someone to explain to me why we expect the me the softs then hards to be quicker than the hard than the softs then mediums i'm guessing it's to do with temperature but i don't quite understand it i don't understand it okay um and what about this one? So this one, we think 145. This one, we think 145. So these are identical. Interestingly, the new stop that we created, you know, the new strategy that we created with another stop in the middle here, if we put all these up and put you onto softs and then put a lap in here, is almost identical. It's almost identical. So I feel like... If we're not going to lose any time. I 
Interesting that this... <laughs> if we're not going to lose any time, I feel like we should just go for it, right? 18 laps. Then we do the last one. Here. We could probably bring it back a little bit. Like that. I think we go for it. 30 seconds, we're shaving off the... You know, essentially saving one pit stop, but we might be quicker than everyone else towards the end. We might not. I'm going to do it. You know what? I'm going to blink and, blink and do it. D, we're on a D again. Why do I always do this to myself? I always do it, and I don't know why. Uh, pace mode, we want to be on that, right? For everything. And your pace mode, we want to be on that for now. Okay. Well, everybody, we're going to mess this up royally once again, but we've got our own strategy. This is what we do. Why is your car set up untested? I don't understand that. Anyway, um, this is what we do in our uh, in our now team. We take risks nice without really knowing the benefits the of them. The uh, I'm all for taking a risk if there's a, an obvious benefit, but, you know, <laughs> it's only stroll. <laughs> okay. The second driver, it's Sebastian Vettel. They're starting in the bottom half of the grid today, so there's a lot of cars between them and the podium. The race start is mere seconds away. We're just moments away from the Singapore Grand Prix. Okay, the lights are on. Lights out, and off they and go, and go. off we go. Most people appear to be on softs. A couple of people on mediums in the middle there. Vettel has overtaken Stroll. Okay, let's get this first lap. Vettel jutting out there, not, not getting past anyone. I guess we could... Just push a little bit here and see if we can get past someone. Wrong one every time. We're trying to get past Latifi. I mean, I think we are reaping what we kind of expected. We haven't improved our car for a very long time. And therefore, the Williams should have caught up with us and be better than us. And they, they're kind of showing that over the last couple of races. They look like they're certainly on a par with us. Um, so, you know, I kind of understand it. But from our point of view, next season is where we're putting all of our money into. I don't know what kind of money we need left over at the end of a season. Uh, but bearing in mind we want to change our parts designers, maybe our race team, because, you know, these, these engineers had relationships with, with the two drivers we've got that we're letting go. We're going to need new drivers. There's a lot of change coming to Aston Martin if we're still in a job. That could be the first change. But uh, lap one is almost done. And we haven't really made an impact. Let's have a quick look behind us. Stroll is there or thereabouts. Oh, are we making a move? I think we, we kind of half are. Don't know how Singapore is for overtaking. But we're trying it. Can we make it stick? I'm not sure we can. But outside. I think we're going to make it stick on the inside of this one. We do. Latifi has to pull up sharp and we'll, unfortunately Stroll gets stuck behind them. But... Uh, there we go. Vettel is going for it again. Vettel is not holding back. Use overtake. Yeah. See if we can get past Latifi down here as well. Nice. Worst stroll. This is good lines, come on. I, 
It'd be nice. I guess they can't do it with the licensing and stuff, but it'd be nice if there was a way of changing like the design, uh, cosmetics of your car, the the you know the decals and that. DRS is enabled. DRS is enabled. We're going for it again. We're trying to jut up the inside this time. Can't make that stick. Just going to go to neutral down here. Actually, you know what? We need you to be pushing, so. Used energy. Okay. The RS is open. We're not going to make it past. We're trying again. Poor old Vettel getting crowded out a little bit there. I didn't really think about this, but you're coming in at about at lap 18, 19, and so are you, maybe slightly earlier. Okay, come on, vets. very tight i have to say at the back here three laps in there's not a lot of change and that williams i don't like that that williams is holding us all up well we're certainly holding up holding up the car in front of us not, not necessarily us oh stroll is right up our alongside us Good job, keep pushing. We just need to charge up. Copy. Okay, come on. Another car has spun. Stroll has made it through. Interesting. Did somebody spin out there? Latifi. Let's see what, what did you do, Latifi? Now let's look. We're watching Nicholas Latifi. Oh dear. Stroll is really going for it. Up the inside, making it work. Nice. This is good. Come on. That was good. Work. Good work, Stroll. It's not what I expected of you. Good work. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. Okay, well, look, unless we get past this fella, Sonoda. Oh, we've all come to a stop. That means Latifi's going to be right up our backside again, right? Nope. A little bit of a distance. The battery is empty, so let's get you on uh, Harvest as well. Doing a good job. Beto, I was really hoping for more from you. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. What the heck is happening? Let's take a look at the replay. Let's have a look here. This was the Aston Martin. Stroll is really working it right now. I mean, the problem being is now DRS is going to be a thing for, for them and not for Stroll, right? Yeah, the gap is too big. The stroll is absolutely on fire right now. I, I'd also argue that, you know, the other cars aren't aren't doing great. <laughs> but good work, stroll. You keep it tight down there, right? I think it's time we uh, we made this go a little bit quicker because I can't see how we're gonna we're gonna keep on top of it, other than micromanaging the uh, ERS, and I really can't be bothered with that. I'm gonna put this on neutral and neutral just to keep us ticking along we might jump back into it a little bit later but stroll's lost space but i get the feeling you know these are just going to keep jumping because we're too far away from the cars in front of us 
Okay, let's speed this up. We're looking at about lap 20-ish, I think, for our pit stops. I don't know what we're going to do with people being so close to each other. We've got a little bit of leeway on your tyres and on yours, so maybe we can bring you in on exactly the right stop and give you a little bit more to play with. Okay. Multiple cars have crashed in sector one. Oh no. I mean, I don't think we can come in early and then... I don't think we can come in early and change it. What we could potentially do... Let's see what, let's see what this looks like, first of all. That's all of the leaders as well. Oh dear. Oh my lord. He's, Hamilton still can't be racing, right? Was that If it was Hamilton, he still can't be going. He's flat out into the wall in front of him. You're having a laugh. No front wing, obviously. What the heck? Okay. Um, that safety car went real quick as well. Do you notice that? <laughs> I find that a little bit weird, but fine. Someone's gone wide there. Yeah, these two had to pit, but they'll obviously be closing the gap and overtaking us fairly soon. Cars are coming into pit. Is there a benefit to pitting? I don't know at this moment in time. Think we just keep going right we still got the tires in fact we could probably put you on really push you can start to push more in the high speed if you can yeah okay and i guess we can say the same here we'll keep an eye on it but I guess the other question is do we switch stroll over to a two stopper rather than so a you know one stopper sorry rather than the two stop um because stroll is further ahead than i thought he would be what just happened here how did you jump up to second i don't understand what i just saw there's the clerk who's down here but yeah i don't know how uh i don't know how that all just happened Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what we do. I genuinely am not sure what we do. What's our... So lap 19 for you, lap 18 for you. The question being, is there a benefit to switching you over to hards? I think we stick with what we've got. This was the plan. I think we stick with where we are and what we've got, right? Okay, let's speed this up a little bit. I said a little bit, I mean a lot. We're about to be overtaken by Hamilton and the, and the like. Okay, we're bringing you in and we're putting you on mediums, right? And that's it. We just need to turn the use of the tyres down slightly when you're in. Stroll, you don't have a choice on it, mate. We are holding everybody else up, though. I like that. I like that we're having an impact on the on the championship, potentially. Don't you crash into us, Leclerc. No, he's got past. Disappointing. I can't believe that Hamilton isn't out of this race. The speed he went into that wall. So 
So when you come into the pit, we just need to change your strategy down just a little bit. And then we can also bring in Vettel after that. Go on, Stroll. Look at him go. Okay, we're coming around towards the, uh, the pit lane. Still a few more corners to go. And we are in the pit. Okay, we're bringing you on and putting you on. I still don't know if this is wise. But it is what it is, right? Box, box. There goes Stroll. Oh, we're right at the end of the pit lane. There goes Schumacher. Just gone past us. Latifi isn't, isn't catching at this moment in time. I guess that's going to change, but still quite a way away. And we just need to bring you down to this and you down to this as well. Okay, good. Okay, let's speed this up. We're waiting for Vettel to pit as well, who's obviously then going to drop down the boards. But so your next pit stop is 41 or two and you're done for the... I think that was a crash. Okay, Bottas has crashed. Here's the replay. Now we see Valtteri Bottas. Oh dear. Guessing he's not out though. I'm sure he's still going. Okay. We are a long way behind, but hopefully these two can kind of push each other, although Vettel's on the medium, on the hard, so maybe not. Okay, let's speed this up. Multiple car crash in sector one. Oh, hello. That's the Haas. I think there's been contact on the track. Let's have a look. Let's have another look. Science is the focus here. Oh, and there's the crash. Ferrari not having a great day. Um, but, you know, what can you do, eh? Okay. We really want our gap to stay sort of one, two seconds, but this gap to close. There go signs into the pit. Out of the pit in front of us again. And now this is now this has got bigger. No DRS. Okay. Safety car, safety car. I wish you could then bring up the uh keep the delta positive, obviously. The strategies and stuff. If we go to this, it doesn't really help us here. You know, it doesn't show us the The one screen we need. Um, I don't think there's any benefit to pitting based on what we've just seen. Ocon's crashed as well, or maybe that's the same crash. Let's watch it. Now have a watch of this. Looks like Ocon. Whoopsie! Oh, this fella didn't even flinch. Didn't move to help either. Okay. Sounds like a spin. Ocon is out. That's good for our finishing potential, right? We've got a long way to go to catch up with Schumacher, though. Um, we should check tyres. Most people are on hards or mediums. Okay. 
DRS is in there, you good lads. Thanks for that. Right. I mean, this isn't fantastic. Based on the fact that we've got another stop to go with Stroll. Um, we needed to be higher up here for, for this to be a beneficial. But, you know, again, I guess the same principle applies. If people are only doing one stop and we come in on softs, are they going to be in a place where their tyres are worse for wear? How much quicker are we going to be on softs versus them on, on hards that are worn? Not, you know, I mean, the hards will last. Obviously, we're playing hards to uh, to get us to the end of the race. So hards will last, and we can look at this and see there's still quite a lot left. So the question is, how much quicker is soft versus hard? Okay, and Stroll, you're coming in quite a way into the future. Another 10 laps or so. Oh, what is happening today? Yellow ahead. Okay. We can take a look now. Now we see Valtteri Bottas. Bottas again. He's having a bit of a mare. What's happening with the old sectors here? So we're close. To, to cars that we need to be overtaking, right? We need to be getting past these. Use overtake. Yeah. Come on, Stroll. Okay, let's push this again. I mean, we have to get past these so we can then pit um, and lose all those positions. But Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. What happened to Schumacher? Good work, Vets. Okay, let's have a little look here at, um, a look at, the at the overtake. A look again, it yeah, straight up. DRS benefiting us. And then we are aggressive to make it stick. Make it look so easy. Nice, like that. Okay. Um, let's just slow this down for a second. We're coming up to our our pit strategy. We've got a little bit of time to go. I think we can push the tyres a little bit harder. I'm not sure this extra pit, pit stop is going to help us. Um, which we kind of knew, right? But... Oh no, hold on, 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 hold on. Um, we are past our optimal pit stop. Let's come in. Did I just miss that? Did I just get that entirely wrong? Okay. I'm assuming we couldn't got there on the last tyres we were on. There's no way, right? other people pitting and going on to softs interesting okay so that maybe hasn't helped us in the slightest interesting okay everybody else around us also pitted looking for those green sectors Vettel's just gone fastest middle sector on his hard tyres Alpha Tower he gained a place I guess this is the big question right is can Vettel yeah Stroll's easily flown past Vettel Vettel is slow on these tyres 
do wonder if there's an argument to bring him in too late for it now i think a little bit worried about how much how much we're using tire wise we're well above where we wanted to be interesting okay let's let's ease off a little bit Okay, Stroll's in 15th place, Vettel's in 16th place. I can't see how we're going to make up any other time. Schumacher, it'll be interesting to know what the gap is to Schumacher and if we're closing it. Four seconds. Let's see if that comes down any. No, it's getting, getting worse. Harvest wall. There's a safety car. I presume you, you can do that. Safety car. Stroll. Uh, sorry, Stay Vettel. Do we bring Vettel in and put him on soft tyres? I don't know. I don't know the answer. I don't know what the incident is. What I do know is is that he is slow. But is he then going to be able to? Is he then going to be able to catch up? I don't think so. But let's do it. Let's do it. All out attack. Joe has crashed out. That's gonna I mean that's gonna help us anyway, right? With our our position. I can't believe we're lapping or pitting with three. Do I need to conserve for a bit just to get there? I don't know. We're just gonna push as hard as we can. Tires look like they're okay now, which is good. Are we back on track? I wish this was just a little bit bigger. I think we're back on track with the tires. We're good to push. This looks like we're back to where we wanted to be at least. And you're just pushing all out. Those tires are hot. We know we're we're going for it, buddy. This is this is how it works around here. We are going for it. What's the difference between Vettel and so 21 seconds in three laps? Doesn't feel likely especially since that's getting higher because old ones on softs as well we basically just gave up a place right but i get the feeling we were going to get caught anyway there's a lot of clapping going on there's an incident again It'd be nice if another four cars dropped out in the last lap, right? Can we have an accident that, that caused four cars to crash? That would make me happy. Yeah, we're not any quicker than we were hoping to be. Who are we stuck behind? Are we behind the safety car? We're we directly behind the safety car. That hasn't really helped us either, right? Oh, well, look, the safety car's out for the last two laps, I think. Let's just, let's just wrap up, shall we? Energy's good. Safety car will be Yeah, we're quite away from anyone we needed to be able to overtake. The, the question is whether Latifi and that can get past us, right? Hang in there, Vettel. I 
think Stroll is all good. He's just flying around this last lap and a 14th place finish for Stroll. That's pretty, pretty impressive, I think. But yeah, you know, the Vettel thing, did we do the right thing? Probably not. Could it have made a difference? Maybe. I mean, 30 seconds was still way too much to catch up, especially with Auburn being on, uh, being on soft tyres as well. But I just I was concerned that we might lose more places if we had the uh, if we had the hards. It turns out because of the safety car, it's pretty close anyway. Okay. Hold on, look, 139, 137. If we can make that up in one lap, I mean, bearing in mind we were like two seconds behind, right? We're coming around to the finish and the uh, checkered flag is going to be, going to be waved. Okay, Poor so old Stroll, he's got to do another lap. I mean, bearing in mind, bearing in mind our... Uh, Bearing in mind, the, the position's been boosted by two places, right? Because of the crashes. Well, ultimately, we're 18th and 16th, right? Really, but we'll take that. The boys seem happy. And the ladies, obviously. Today, Aston Martin demonstrated that they can go very far indeed. Yep, they managed to bring everything together. Strategy, engineering and driving. I'm not sure they that's true. Very strong weekend indeed. Not sure that's true either. Up, the team is ranked in ninth in the constructor standings. Next round, we'll see us head east as F1 prepares for the Japanese Japan Grand Prix. and we'll Suzuka. Suzuka, a firm favourite for the drivers. Nice. Well, we'll pick that up next time. Um, but there we go. Let's have a little look. There were some penalties and stuff going on, right? I think. But we have finished 14th. We have finished 16th. Let's have a little look at this. 316 points to 218 points for Leclerc and Sainz. And then Verstappen 273. And then Ferrari is still close. It's still pretty close at the top there. Uh, experience for Vettel. He's got one development point. Stroll must have got a development point. No. But big gains for him. And I forgot to do anything with Doan again. Uh, Dunan, whatever his damn name is. 3.79 mil in the bank for that. And let's just have a quick look at the calendar when we get back to to the compound and head office. What have we got going on? We've got another race up in a couple of days, but we've also got uh, scouting complete on a driver. Um, then we've got a sponsor ob uh, obligation. But as you can see here, two days, uh, a race in a few days in Japan. Then we've got this race at the end of October, so up until the 30th of October. And then we've got another couple in November. So what's that? One, two, uh, three, four, five races to go. Uh, we'll check that out next time. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at Scott Gaming. I'll see you again soon. Thank you.